Hi, honey. Happy Sunday to my baby. How you doing, mister? You having a good slumber? I gotta show you something out in the woods. Assuming you haven't already seen it already, which you very well may have. I'll race you back here. I'll race you. I'll race you. Ooh, I never had a chance. Ooh, ooh. It's not too late. Maybe daddy can win. Watch. Oh, no. Oh, I just barely beat him. No way. No way. Look how happy he is. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Speaking of stumps, you're about to see a cool one out there. Yeah. I cut it just for you. Hopefully you can reach it. I think you can. If you can, we'll just climb it. Oh, what a good little baby today, huh? Got some sap on your back. Not too many birds, though. Okay. Ready? Your daddy worked hard yesterday. Oh, look at this. This is a cherry from a black cherry tree. I don't think you can eat them. No. And this is what a black cherry looks like. This one has some sap. You've seen these before in the video, probably, but maybe not this close. This is what the bark looks like. I believe they have single point leaves. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Let's try to find some up close from the limbs that came down. Yeah. Oh, maybe one that's low to the ground. Here's one. This is a black cherry when it's not fully mature. Get a better. There we go. This is what they look like. Get a better angle here, maybe. Underside. Pretty cool, huh, buddy? Yeah, somebody was asking about black cherry trees, so I thought I'd show it then. There's another one right there, I believe. You get a better shot. Yeah, get a better shot. Of the leaves here. Wait a minute. Is this, is this the black cherry? Uh, no, it's not. I take that back, I'm pretty sure. I don't think this is a black cherry. No, it's not. It's different. I'm sorry about that. We'll just forget about that. Normally I'd edit it out, but nah, not today. <laughs> Here's a black cherry right here. Here's another one. The bark looks almost like a kind of like a snake. Not great lighting right here. But got the leaves here. They're kind of getting a little dilapidated because it's fall. Not great lighting at all. That's okay. I think you get the idea. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, let's go check out your your big stump I cut for you, okay? Big one for cinema. Big stump for a big kitty cat. Yeah. For a moment I thought I tried not to step on you. I thought I saw a morel. But I didn't. What an exciting time to be in the woods, huh, buddy? Got an airplane or a jet or whatever flying away from us. I wonder if they spotted us back here. What do you think, boy? Do you think they spotted us? Yeah? My Nikes are pretty dirty after yesterday. Look, I even got a little twig on there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, try not to step on the baby. Oh, you're gonna scratch your root? No? Okay. This is another black cherry. Bark looks a little bit different, but you can tell it's in the same realm. Pretty cool trees. They're hardwood, they're fast growing. People love them for heat. Oh, there's a hawk or something. Yeah. You gotta be careful, buddy, we got a hawk. It's okay. We got a Heckler and Coke HK45C to keep us company, should we need it against a monster bird. <laughs> there are, these black cherry trees are not the most, hmm, what's the word, hardy tree? They're not like an oak, they, they're hardwood, but they do die. Oaks do too, but these seem to die more. 
And they're also not good in storms. They tend to snap, they split halfway. They tend to fork when they grow up. See if you can find, yep, see how they fork like that? And usually the one side will split off and get stuck in, that's a real bummer. That's what happened to the one I dropped the other day, which you saw in the video. See, there's another one. They're everywhere back here. In fact, I see a few over there that are dead. They start losing leaves at the top. It is fall though, so I have to be careful when I identify them. Really today, or in the next few days, is the best time to identify them. Because if you wait too long, they drop the leaves and you can't identify which ones are dead unless you start seeing the bark coming off. So, we have so much wood. Nothing hurts just to leave them, just to leave them up, you know. Got the big stumps over here, the logs. Do you like your new log piles, buddy? We got three of them we got. This one was made bigger. This one was added and it's huge. And we got a little baby one over there. I think he's gonna check them out. Ooh, watch out, buddy, there's bees in there. Ooh, they might be making a nest. We'll have to be careful. Yeah, we don't like those, no. We don't like, well, uh, maybe they just wanna see what we're playing. I don't think they're wasps. They're probably okay. But maybe we'll check the other pile out. We can check out the baby pile for you, man. Yeah, I don't want to get stung. Cinnabon's been stung in the face a couple times. It makes his face poofy. We've all been there before. Yeah. You want to check out the other stumps? Or the logs, I guess. Oh yeah, there's another bee. These bees are attracted to these cherries. Okay. I think these stumps are, or <laughs> keep upon them stumps. I think these piles are to his satisfaction. We have the one tree there that's, or the one branch that eventually will come down on its own. Yeah, we could, when it gets a little more dry and dead, we'll be able to twist it out and snap it off. Look, buddy. Look what we got over here. You're going to love your stump. Yeah, it's a big rump stump, so you can sit on it. It's still moist, too. Check it out. Look, at, he's going to check it out, I think. Look, buddy. Look, buddy. Hey. Want to check out your stump? No. <laughs> I'm not sure what that clapping sound is. I cut this just for you, buddy. I'm going to be sad if you don't use it. Maybe it's too high. Yeah, maybe it is too high. I could easily come back here and cut it down a few more feet. I just thought he'd like a bigger vantage point. He could easily climb up here soon. Oh, you're checking out my sawdust. Yeah. That was from yesterday. Here, I'll go ahead and put him on the stump so he knows it's his. Oops, sorry. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Do you like it, buddy, up there? Do you like it up there? Hmm. Should I cut it lower? Maybe I should cut it a little bit lower. Hmm. I just wanted you to get a nice vantage point of the cornfield. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think he doesn't mind it. Yeah. Oh, there. Oh, he's getting comfy, I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there we go. You love it, don't you, buddy? Yeah, your new stump. Aw. Yeah, I think he likes it. It's not, that's what, how high is it? Gosh, I'm over six feet tall. Hmm. I don't know, four, four and a half feet high. I'm glad you seemingly like it, buddy. Got my cat daddy shirt on again. Yeah, buddy. You can see it too, huh? Yeah. Well, I think it's a win. Maybe. If he doesn't go up there by himself when we're on our woods walks, I will cut it a little bit shorter so it's easier for him to hop on there. But that's not... That's about as high, maybe a little bit less higher than the dresser he hops on. So I think it's okay. Yeah. Oh, you gonna hop off, buddy? You gonna hop off? <laughs> I think he likes it too much. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, I'm going to head back inside, mister. <laughs> he definitely loves it. Look at that. Nice view of the cornfield. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us today. And we wish you have a fantastic and safe rest of your Sunday. <laughs> I think he's going to stay here for a while. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again, everyone. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.